Now let's move on and consider the I argument. I said it's invalid, right? That's why I put the I's in front of the numbers and the premises and the conclusion. All men are mortal. Socrates is mortal. Therefore, Socrates is a man. Well, how do we go about proving that this is not valid? The question that you need to ask is based on the definition. Remember a valid argument, it's impossible for the premises to be true and the conclusion false. But the question is, is it possible for these premises to be true and the conclusion false? And if that's the case, it's suggested by our definition that it's not valid. The definition is an argument's valid if and only if it's impossible for all the premises to be true and the conclusion false. Okay, how so? What we want to do is try to prove that this argument is invalid. In other words, We want to think of a possible situation, that's one we can describe without contradicting ourselves, where all the premises are true and the conclusion is false. Can you imagine such a situation where those premises are true and the conclusion is false? Yes, we can imagine without contradicting ourselves that everything was like it that sorry we can't imagine without contra contradicting ourselves that things are just like they are here that is men are mortal but imagine that Socrates is not the great philosopher but rather imagine I have a dog named Socrates well, in that case, if I have a dog named Socrates, all men are mortal. Dogs are all mortal, right? So my dog Socrates would be mortal. However, so the premises are true in this imagined situation, but nonetheless the conclusion is false. So I've described a situation in which all the premises are true and the conclusion is false I haven't contradicted to myself so the argument is invalid now contrast that one with the first argument that we were talking about the valid one the V argument can we do the same thing with the original argument we want to make sure that this really works Well, try to prove that it's invalid, right? How do you do this? Well, I want to suggest you can't do this because any try there there can't be a possible situation where the premises are true and the conclusions false. Because any situation in which you describe the world as having only mortal men—that is, all men die are mortal—and you know that this guy Socrates is a man. You have to contradict yourself. Either you have to 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 assert th then that Socrates is not more of a conclusion. Either you got to find out that he wasn't a man, or you get a second premise, or there's a problem with the first premise. But now we just contradicted ourselves because we were describing a situation where those two, in fact, are true. So in trying to describe this situation, we'd end up contradicting ourselves. So this test of validity does work. And it suggests the first method for testing for validity, which is try to imagine a possible situation. That is, you have to be able to describe without contradicting yourself where all the premises are true and the conclusion is false. And as I noted one more time, just so you don't get it wrong. You have to be able to describe this situation 
without without contradicting yourself that is you can't say that Socrates is a man and he's not a man you can't say that all men are mortal and some men are not mortal that would be contradicting yourself